tears for the tear god, salt for the salt throne, and gas the leaf tribe. So Dave Rubin sat down with Maxime Bernier at Mohawk College in Hamilton, Ontario the other day. So obviously, Antifa was duty-bound to show up and yell at an old white lady with a walker. Now, in Antifa's defense, she is very white. <sighs> oh, fuck. This is, this is why I drink. Hear the song of Slaanesh. Hear this dirge and despair. PPC candidate for Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, Kelly Day, was in attendance to sing the national anthem, and she had this to say. I feel a bit ill every time I watch this. I wish I hadn't been inside during this, so I could have stepped in and let them scream at me instead. I signed up for candidacy. I can take it. Leave the poor old woman alone. Now, this is why I can never attend one of these events, because I am not nearly so kind or as patient as Kelly Day, I'd probably be three sheets and ready to spit by the time I got there. And this really doesn't have anything to do with the topic of the video, but I did just want to point out that this is the kind of person who is running as a PPC candidate. And this does not in any way strike me as the kind of person who would tolerate Nazi scum on her streets, let alone be part of their party. I'm told there was some violence. I don't have footage of that violence readily available, but the mainstream media has covered it as such, so I'll try to link some of those articles. I'm also told there was, I don't want to say arrests, let's call them detainments, uh, because everyone was released without charge, apparently, which I find particularly strange because of this video. Now, this man was detained for a reason, and he's clearly resisting arrest, as a crowd chanting, let him go, begins to surround the police officers just trying to do their job, and this is the topic I want to discuss, the police conduct. Notice how wonderfully and stereotypically polite the police are being to a man they've arrested who is resisting arrest, and to a crowd Surrounding them. Now, this guy with the backpack here, he doesn't put hands on the officer. He has a phone in his hand. He's trying to film, it appears. But they are definitely using their physical presence to surround and attempt to intimidate the officers into letting the man go. And I don't think the conduct is harsh by the police. I think it's not nearly harsh enough. Look, I know some police officers, I have law enforcement in the family. And I want them to know, if there's any law enforcement watching this, your first responsibility is not to the fucking job, it's to your goddamn family. It's about keeping yourself safe first. This is a very dangerous job. Everybody knows that. Canadians, in general, know this. And I think they're fully within their rights here. To create a perimeter with pepper spray when they're being surrounded by a mob demanding they release a person who's been arrested. And this guy, they're, they're carrying him away. And I, I get it. There's like an optics thing. You don't want to escalate the crowd. It'll look bad and maybe they'll... No, fuck that. Tase the guy, pepper spray the crowd. This is not... Take care of yourself. They're escalating. You're not. This is not, this is not an armed group of freedom fighters who know what they're doing. This is this is 
30-year-old children having a tantrum, and they need one good crack in the mouth, and the tantrum will end. Okay, trust me. Not nearly so kind or patient. <laughs> I love some of these signs. One of them said, hate speech does not equal free speech. This one here says, too many Nazis in the PPC. And uh, let's watch a little more and uh, I'll discuss why, while I understand de-escalation, not escalating, uh, that strategy won't work in this situation with these people. Okay. This gent is not seven and a half feet tall. They're trying to put him in the cruiser, and he's put his feet up on the cruiser, so he can't be put in the cruiser. And finally, finally, they're going to get really physical with him. Slam to the floor. Wonderful, beautiful. And now they're going to start creating a perimeter with police bodies, which, while it works, I think they're a little late on the perimeter here. And, uh, oh, here's another sign. Back that up for me. Canadian values equals white supremacy, patriarchy, genocide. And this man who thinks he's in the midst of a revolution also thinks he has time to flip the bird to a cameraman. <clears throat> These people are grown children. They have very little experience with conflict, uh, and I assume none with real violence. And I'm, I, I would think that's a safe bet based on the way they yell at an old lady in the street and resist arrest, thinking there won't be consequences, demanding that police release a prisoner. De-escalation techniques, non-escalation techniques, they work with people who are familiar with violence. Because everyone familiar with violence knows that it's usually not the best option. There should be something else. These people don't know that. They don't have enough experience with it to understand that. So these tactics here are only going to embolden them. And the emboldening of them, they'll push boundaries. They'll, they'll, oh, this guy, you know, he didn't get tased and we didn't get pepper sprayed. Let's do more. Dogs and people are exactly the same. If you don't swiftly and effectively enforce a boundary, they will press it over and over again until eventually one of them does something really stupid. And then you're going to have a real problem. Okay, and for all my unkind impatience, I actually don't want to see any of them get really hurt. I don't want to see one of these idiots get themselves killed, you know, suicide by cop by accident, because this wasn't nipped in the bud sooner. So by taking swift effective measures to enforce those boundaries, I think you'd actually be doing them a favor. If you smack this fucking cannabis bandana motherfucker in the mouth, he'll run home to his mom and that'll be the end of it. That'll be the end of his revolution. And it's in his best interest. As well as in the police officers. So... Don't worry about the optics. Just worry about doing the job and making sure these idiots don't get themselves killed. Because protecting yourself is protecting them. Relevant links to shit I said in the description? Maybe. I'm a Root Twin. Like, subscribe, or don't. It's a free country. At least it used to be. They would silence us?